human understand that two mathematics is different area, algebra, topology, uh, calculus, analysis, differential equations, probability, statistics, uh, and then of course there are a lot of other areas like discrete mathematics, graph theory, and so on and so forth. See, uh, you must realize that all areas of mathematics are connected to each other and what this means is that it, it should translate to two things. First thing is you should, you should not really hate any area of mathematics. First of all, this is a keep this as a golden rule. Never hate any area of mathematics. Okay? You see often people saying, I don't like this, I don't like algebra, but I like analysis. You know, or I don't like analysis, but I like algebra. Now the this kind of attitude is very bad because you see. What you are doing is that you are you are trying to uh, cut off a certain viewpoint and when you cut off a certain viewpoint, a certain wholesomeness is lost. Then you get only partial information and whenever you have only partial information, beauty is lost. So if your aim is to really understand something in a beautiful way, you should have, you should have wholesome information. You should look at it from different points. You should not cut off any point. Of course, you may not be trained. Just because I am good at algebra doesn't mean that I should hate analysis. What I should do is try to understand analysis. Try to learn it. Whatever I don't know or whatever that I... Uh, instead of trying to make what I don't know as something that I hate, I should try to become more friendlier with it. Nowadays, so many books are available. There is so much resources on the web. And there, there are things available at so many levels. So you can... You know, start even at a layman level and start learning things and get an act, develop a good positive attitude towards anything. And in that way, you should not say that you don't like something. Okay, that's a, and, and usually the reason this is is because either that particular topic was not taught earlier or it was taught but you know it was not assimilated properly. Or uh, most of the time, students uh, ended up uh, having a bad score in that in that in that topic. If you have a bad score in a topic, it really doesn't mean that you're bad at that topic. What it means is that your knowledge about that topic is bad, and that's your problem. I mean, you need to do whatever is required to you know try to understand. And maybe the way you uh, you learned, maybe the way you were taught was not ideal for you because you see minds are different. So what you should do is. You know, you must, you must try to look for resources. Nowadays, you've got books, videos, uh, all at all levels available. You should try to, uh, so, so for example, uh, uh, there are so many maths web, websites and discussion forums for people to try to explain things. You should go there and try to get, a, a, first of all, a general view uh, about what is happening in, in that topic. And what kind of questions are asked? What kinds of techniques are used? And what is the <coughs> theory? What is it? And sometimes it's very interesting to see what happened historically. Okay, so you can trace a lot of mathematics history to uh, applications, uh, questions which arose in physics and engineering and science. Okay, so mathematics was not just inspired by mathematics itself; it was inspired not by the applied sciences. So you know, you just, that makes you connect, even if you are a pure mathematician, you can get connected to applied sciences. Okay. So in that way, you must try to find out uh, how things are connected. So even a topic which is not friendly will become very friendly. And then once you find it friendly, you, uh, you know, like getting to know a friend better and better, you should try to read up things which seem to be more closer to you, which and then, and then you know, then you will see slowly that this is a completely new landscape that you didn't see before. And then once you once you see that, and, uh, and later on, in whenever you, whatever you're, you're working in, and you're looking at something, suppose there is a viewpoint from this this other area to which you which you're not able to see because you now know that area also. Then you see it's a more wholesome and more beautiful picture than before. That is the whole point. So don't compartmentalize yourself, don't cut out uh, saying that I don't like this area of mathematics or that area of mathematics. You need not be a specialist, you need not be an ace in that area, you need not uh, 
really work in the career. But the short prevent you from being friendly with it, trying to learn. And at least try to see how it's going. So you see, this is something that you should do. There should be a you must put a big bold no to say that I don't like this, I hate that. That's very bad. Just don't do that. Thing.